Hello, everyone. Welcome to American History Part 1. My name is Dr. Philip Travis, and I will be your instructor during this course. I did my PhD at Washington State University, and my specialization is in the United States and world history. And I'm very excited for this class. I think we will find this class an interesting and fascinating, fascinating subject um, that will challenge probably some of our um, prior held notions about um, American history. So this is American history part one. So we'll be analyzing and examining American history from the arrival of Europeans following Columbus and the conquistadors up until the end of the American Civil War and the Reconstruction period. So we're going to look at um, North American, the, the North American colonies, how the colonies expanded, how, the, how colonial life changed over time. We will look at the development of the institution of slavery in the North American colonies and how slavery um, shaped the development of, of, of racism and inequality in the United States. We'll look at the origins of the American Revolution and how the American Revolution led to a new experiment in representative, representative society in the United States. We'll examine the first failed attempt at a government in the United States, the Articles of Confederation. We'll then examine the Constitution. We'll examine the early republic, the beginning of the two-party system, the roots of the two-party system, the War of 1812, democracy in America, the development of, of a slave society in the, in the American South, and the development of industrial economics in the, in, in, in the American North, and how these things sowed the seeds for a crisis in the country that eventually led to the American Civil War. We'll look at the roots of the Civil War, the big questions um, that led to that conflict surrounding uh, the issue of, of slavery in the United States. And we'll look at the Reconstruction period as well and think a little bit about how Reconstruction uh, shaped the United States and created a new, a new foundation for the promise of equality and justice in the United States. So I think you'll find this a very fascinating class and a class that remains uh, very relevant to Americans today in the 21st century. A little bit about how this course is, what to expect in the sort of development of this class. First of all, the class, I open all of your weekly sort of content modules. If you go into the content area, you'll find, you click on content, and you'll find weekly modules. And each of those weekly modules will contain the assignments for that particular section of the course. I open those weekly modules weekly. So this week, you'll expect week one. Don't expect to see week two until the end of the day, Sunday prior to the start of the second week. All of your assignments are due um, on the Sunday assigned unless the due date is otherwise noted. Sometimes you do find different due dates, so pay attention to that. Um, sometimes I'll have a quiz, for example, like a video lecture quiz, and I'll make it due Thursday because I want you to have watched it earlier in preparation for um, upcoming um, related assignments. But generally speaking, assignments are due on Sunday. The assignments in the course, you'll have three tests in the course. There will be one short essay, and that's due towards the end of the term. We can talk more about that later as we move towards it. Um, the short essay, short essay, it's six to 700 words, nothing to be too, um, too concerned over if you haven't written a historical essay before. And I'll make sure we have all of the sort of material and information we need to really do well on that. There will also be a series of quizzes in the class. And uh, on some of the weeks, there will be assigned discussion boards as well. Now, when I assign those discussion forums, I want generally, always follow the directions, but I generally want you to be making um, one post, two replies, over two separate days of activity 
um, during the week when they're when they're assigned, usually starting by Thursday. But make sure you follow. When you click on follow the guidelines for that, when you click on the content area for the module for week one, it'll open up and you'll see a readings and assignments page. You'll see a video lecture. Every week in class, I have a recorded video lecture for you. And the video lecture helps us to go over the material that we're reading about. Um, watch those video lectures. Sometimes I have quizzes only on the video lectures. The video lectures bring out information and explain information that appears on the test. So watch those video lectures. Take notes on those video lectures because I put those together to help you uh, do well in this course. So every week there'll be a video lecture. Every week there'll be a video announcement like this. And so this is an example of our um, uh, of, of a video announcement that we'll have every week. I'll explain things about the class moving forward. And also, with the video announcements, there will be associated extra credit activities to encourage us to watch these. And the way the extra credit works is each announcement, I will, I'll state a factoid. And to get your extra credit point, all you have to do is, after you've watched the announcement, go to the extra credit discussion board that you'll find in the content area for that week and simply post the summary for that factoid and you earn bonus points added to a test score at the end of the term. The engraving that you see here is an engraving, by the way, of colonists um, attacking Narragansett Native American, or Narragansett, I should say, Narragansett Native American, uh, a Na Narragansett Native American fort in Rhode Island during King Philip's War, during uh, 1675 and 1676. Um, at the same time, in the American South, in the Chesapeake, Virginia, there was another uprising, not entirely dissimilar, called Bacon's Rebellion. And so in the 1670s, you, you were already seeing major conflicts occurring between uh, colonists who were expanding and the friction and violence that ensued as their expansion um, um, threatened the livelihood of Native Americans who were already present there um, in the region. So the factoid for this week, because we're going to have our extra credit already out of the gate, but the factoid for this week, you will notice just below me, there's another short video, and it relates to, it relates to the arrival of Europeans, particularly the arrival of Europeans like Ponce de Leon to Florida. And it's not a long video, so watch that short video just below and uh, post a summary of it in the Extra Credit Factoid discussion forum for this week. I will see everybody this week in the discussion forum. So you'll probably see me making a post or two in the discussion forum for this week. Um, feel free to reply to me. Replies to your professor, uh, they do count. And uh, be sure to watch the video lecture this week. Let's have a great term. Let's have a great week. Send me an email if you have any questions. Oh, one last item, actually. I just forgot. So you'll notice there's an assessment quiz. Make sure you take the assessment quiz. Uh, you, will get, you will get points on that regardless. What the purpose of the assessment quiz is, I'll add, it's five points extra credit for doing the pre- and post-assessment quiz. And so um, make sure you take that. It's not about getting all the points on it. Everybody will get the five points who completes the pre- and post-assessment quiz. There's a pre-assessment quiz before the class starts, and there's a post-assessment quiz when the class ends. And it's just designed for uh, myself to sort of gauge our understanding of the subject and the field of history before the class starts, and then likewise at the end of the class, hoping to demonstrate that we learned uh, you know, some things in the course. So make sure you take that as well, and um, let's have a great week. Email me if you have any questions.